This is the NBA Storyteller. Did you know Steve Kerr leads the league in technical fouls amongst coaches? Bruce Lee would be proud. Just one. Stephen J. Kerr. Sure, he goes through all the old hype up your own team bit that we all know and know is an act on occasion. But leader, does he not know that we all see right through it? We all know it's a show. The refs, the fans, so do the players. That's unfortunately the, the refuge. How did we get here? Let's talk about it before it was reality stacked on reality. I'm not sure when the first time was, but I do remember seeing my childhood hero, Don Nelson, the inventor of modern professional basketball, doing it early on. What is it, just to clarify, to make sure that we're all on the same page here? Well, it's the old coach gets pissed and gets tossed out to motivate their team routine. But back then, it wasn't as clear cut of a routine as it is now. Back then, there was another reason you might see a coach bow out for the evening's work. See, what I noticed was that some coaches would say the magic word to the ref, basically to go home early, to get out of work. Sometimes they just looked sick of it. Not mad, but just tired. And now knowing that Don Nelson was backstage drinking, it seems even more obvious what his intentions might have been to get out of the game. Oh, that was a playoff game. I mean, what we see in some cases when a coach blows their top is in part real authentic frustration with the refs, with a call, pattern of calls, and it's them really wanting to mark this moment in time with their performance. Hey, I'm telling you, watch out. Goodbye, Steve Kerr. That's, see you later. Steve Kerr is done for the night. And if those coaches are truly seasoned, later they must trigger a fine from something they say in the postgame. This is required. Six fouls called on him. Three of them were absolutely ridiculous. You know, he steals the ball from Kyrie clean at one point. LeBron flops on the last one. Jason Phillips falls for that for a flop. But my question is now, who is that theater for? Is it for me? It can't be for the players. Are the refs really affected by this? And how many times have we jumped through the looking glass with this? See, as we go back into its infancy, it was genuine, a genuine exhaustion or an authentic rage that would lead a coach to an ejection. And only in its authenticity, watching your coach, a usual beacon of rational, measured thought, just lose it on your behalf, could it naturally, in nature, create a spark and get a team motivated to play harder or care more or execute crisper, or crispier, because execution is done best when crispy. Or, you know, seeing this little predominantly white guy in a suit just lose it, S clipboard parts everywhere, spit flying, to the point where those hothead players even adopt the role of the restrainer in chief, now holding their coach back from God knows what. Is it a guaranteed beatdown of anyone in his way? Is it a face to face spit off like they do in baseball? I don't know. What are you holding back from? Who knows? But you must hold him back because you didn't know if this crazy little man had really just snapped or not. Is he really this mad? If you let him go, will he knock the referee the f out? I mean, really. Is any coach really that mad at the ref? The ref they were just chatting it up with pregame in the tunnel about their summers in Chappaquiddick? Is he really gonna go out and pound his face into stitches? Or if you let him go, would that just dissipate the ruse? Nobody really knows. But this little two-step became rote, cliche, repetitive. It became ineffective. Boy, Kerr really fired up. Let's just look at this clip. The lack of technique. It's hilarious because it shows that he wants to sell it and he clearly tries to increase the physical rage when Leandro arrives, but there's so much going on and just off camera is Greg Popovich, one of the originators of this act. And Steve, Steve in his star turn, he can't keep it up. He breaks. The man breaks and shows all his cards and the jig is up. Or was it? Maybe it's just the beginning of a turn. Kerr has a lot to overcome to be taken seriously here. Because also, Kerr, maybe specifically why it looks so odd to me with Steve Kerr, is maybe it's because of his inflated size of his head and how small his little scrunched up face can get. There's something inherently comical about his moments of rage. But let's go back to this clip. His crowning achievement of rage. Was this real? It had to be real. There was some force behind that and you can't fake that. This is clearly a specific technique in order to break this or shatter this, this clipboard. He's not really breaking it with his bare hand. He stabs it. 
some sort of pin, maybe the dry erase pin, in a very specific place. And I think it's rehearsed. I mean, he knew how to shatter a clipboard for the effect. Everything here is rehearsed. The plays, the shots, the speeches. Why not the clipboard shattering? Does that make that any less valid or important? Actually, it makes it even more dramatic and more important. Like he had this special trick in his back pocket and he felt it was time to unveil it. It's like there's nothing more embarrassing than folks trying to break a bat and can't. Or even like this guy here trying to rip up a sign and he can't. I mean, these are real instances of genuine momentary rage and a sloppy brain, allowing you to think that you're so mad right now that you could break this thing. Steve would have looked crazy if he didn't break it. If he would have just hit it a couple times, hurt his hand, you know, trying to break it on the ground, throw it against the ground. That's effective and you don't even have to break it, but he's done this. So where does it come from? I mean, look, even Bobby Knight, that horrible coach who could never make it in the big leagues, threw a chair. He didn't try to break it. Imagine him trying to snap that chair over his knee or his head or over a player's head. Anyway, throwing is the way to go. But if you know what you're doing, then break it. Anyway, there's only one way to figure this out and that's for me to do it. <laughs>